This is what happens if you invest $10,000 by the age of 20. Let's say your money grows at 8% per annum. So 8%, that is a very achievable growth rate with an investment. And I do think when we're looking at scenarios like this, it is important to always use a realistic growth rate because if you start putting in things that are quite hard to achieve, you're just gonna set unrealistic expectations for people. But 8%, I would agree, as a realistic expectation for an investment return. By the time you're 25, that would have been $15,000. But check this, by the time you're 30, that would have been $22,000. And by the time you're 40, that would have been $50,000. But now if you wait until you're 50 years old, you would have had an extra $100,000. That is the power of investing and starting early. This is a great example of highlighting the power of compound interest, which is something that as financial advisors, we were always trying to get across to our clients, the advantages in starting early. So what comes to mind particularly with this would be a pension say. So when you're in your 20s, you're not really thinking about when you're 60 odd years of age, because that's a lifetime away, two lifetimes away. But a video like this will highlight the power of compound interest. So like if you had 10,000 in at 20, and that money earns you that 8% per annum over the 30 years, your 10,000 has grown up to 110,000. Who wouldn't want their money to do that for them, okay? But you have to understand with investing an 8% uh, per annum return, investments don't go in straight lines. So if you're waiting for 8%, 8%, 8%, 8%, it's probably not going to happen. You're probably going to have 8% one year, you could have minus 10% the next year, you could have 16% the following year. But when you look back, uh, with the value of hindsight and see how the fund has averaged a return over a certain period of time that's more what we're talking about here and it just highlights the value of the sooner you start the better you're going to be set up into the future but these types of investments they're not only with your pension you can have investments uh, in a savings and investment space so you're not losing access to that money for 40 years but understand particularly in ireland again this is american content in Ireland, you can get compound interest, but only for a set period of time with certain investments, then taxation comes into play and starts eating into it. Again, it's about just being aware of what's American content, what's content that's actually relevant to me if I'm living in Ireland, and how can I get my money working for myself? And this is absolutely content and information we're trying to get across to our clients on a daily basis.